the all new luxurious 2014 BMW 535i sedan with 300 horsepower 3.0 liter six cylinder engine with twin turbo technology and rear wheel drive so in this video we'll do a full review of the all new 2014 BMW 535i sedan first we're going to do a quick walk around and take a look at the exterior design second we're going to take a detailed look at the interior we'll start up the engine and listen to the exhaust sounds and third we'll take a thorough look at the specs of the engine wheels trunk and lights so BMW quote the new 2014 535i as an exploration of beauty which I absolutely agree because it is indeed a beauty the luxurious 535i is isn't just about good looks Again, it features a 300 horsepower with six cylinder engine with twin turbo technology. And also it is one of the most fuel efficient car in its class. And you're always driving in the moment with the innovative connected drive system, which reads emails, text messages, or more out loud while you explore the open road. So this specific model here includes the driver assistant package, which contains the added rear view mirror, park distance control, and head up display. It also has the added premium package, which means it has the power tailgate, keyless access entry, and satellite radio with a free one year subscription. And lastly, the color we're looking at right now is called Dark Graphite Metallic. Alright, so here's the remote to the car. On the remote, we have the unlock, lock, we got the trunk release, and the panic button. For the trunk release, simply hold it down for a few seconds. Same goes for the panic button. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock it and take a closer look at the interior. The 535i does have smart keyless access entry, so you really don't have to press the unlock button. You can just simply leave the remote control in your pocket and stand next to the door here and leave your hand behind the handle here and it will automatically unlock. And you can simply press right here to lock the car. Just like that. Alright, and let's go ahead and unlock it. There you go. And here's a quick view of the interior. Interior leather is called Black Dakota Leather, which looks very nice and luxurious. Here's a closer view of the back passenger seat. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the driver's seat now. Alright, and we're in the driver's seat. To turn the engine on, you simply push your foot down on the brake and press the start button right here to start the engine and the engine is on let's go ahead and give it a few rests and let you guys listen to the engine Alright, let's go ahead and now pop the hood and see what's under it. Right here you have the uh, trunk release button right there and the lever down here. Simply pull it out to initially open the hood. Alright, and to fully raise the hood, that's going to be a metal lever down here. Simply raise that up and lift the hood open. Alright, under the hood we have again a 3.0 liter. 24 valve inline six cylinder engine with BMW twin turbo power technology. It also has high precision direct injection with valve tronic and double venous. It also has driving dynamics control with Eco Pro mode and eight speed streptronic automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode and adaptive transmission control. Fuel economy wise, the 2014 535i gets 20 miles per gallon in city and 30 miles per gallon on the highway and when combined it gets 24 miles per gallon which these numbers are all pretty amazing here's a last look at the engine before we start going inside and take a closer look at the interior very nice and clean alright we're back inside steering wheels all leather feel very comfortable and nice let's see on the left side here we got the cruise control simply press this clock timer right here to turn the cruise control on and you can tell that it's on when you see this green emblem right there all right and to control the cruise to set and reset you simply press these two button 
and to decrease and increase the speed you simply push up and down on this knob right here and let's go ahead now and move to the right side on the right side we got the different modes for the audio control right here and along with the volume up down along with the voice command and the Bluetooth telephone answering button alright and right behind the steering wheel here we got the windshield wiper control simply push it down and up to increase the speed and right here is the knob to increase the intensity and to put the windshield wiper on automatically simply press that button right there very nice and to release the windshield washer pull it towards you and on the left side here we got the left and right turn signal push it up for right right there and push it down for left you can also use this to control the high beam light simply pull it towards you All right. And right under here, we have a small knob to control the steering wheel placement. You can move it up, down, you can move it towards you or away from you very easily. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Over here, we got the different light switch control. Alright, along with the uh, odometer dimmer. Alright, and right under here, we have a uh, little storage compartment for you to put any materials that you need. Simply open it like that very convenient All right, and as I show you earlier down there you have the trunk release and the hood release lever that's the trunk and that's the hood release alright and right above our head we got the driver sun view visor has a little mirror there along with the cord holder And here's a closer view of the uh, GPS navigation system and audio display. Right. Go ahead and show you a better view of it. Here's the radio option. Here's the map. Down here we got the two AC vents. And here's the lock and unlock button for the car. And right above it we got the emergency light control switch. Here's the CD player control. Simply press this button down to turn the audio on and press it once to again to turn it off. For volume control, twist it right or left. Here's where you insert the CD. All right, and these buttons down there, as you can see as I move my hands through the button, I don't have to press it. The buttons can feel since that my hands are moving along. Alright, very nice. Down here we have the dual AC heat climate control for both passenger and driver side. All right, and we have the heated seats for both passenger and driver side again. There it is. All right. Down here we have let's see two cup holders and in between we have a 12 volt AC outlet charger. Very nice. And here's the universal control to control all the audio and the GPS navigation system just like that you can zoom in and out simply by twisting the knob very easy to use you can push it to the left right up and down and you can simply press it down to select you got the back option the media display radio display menu telephone and navigation display simply one click and it will display and right here we got the uh, cigarette ashtray simply push it to open and push it again to close and now let's take a closer look at the gear shift box right here to put it into drive simply push your foot down on the brake and press this button and push it down and you see it the D light up which means it's in drive and you can see right there also and again do the same thing to put it in reverse push it up and the light will blink green right there and when you put it in reverse, the rear view camera automatically display as like that. And to park, simply press the P right here. Very easy to use. And here we have the different control. You got the traction control on off, simply press once. And right here we got the different driving modes. The display as you can see right here. You can simply press up and down to select the sport mode, comfort mode, or eco pro mode. Sport mode, you get a lot more power. However, you get less mileage. And as you go down to Eco Pro, you get a lot more mileage, but less power. And here we have the parking assist button. 
simply press it once to turn it on and off when the light blinks green that means it's on all right and right next beside it we have the uh, parking brake again you simply also press it once to turn the parking brake on and lift it up to turn it off and now let's take a closer look at the middle armrest compartment simply press that button here it is in here we have an auxiliary input for mp3 players and a USB input also along with another 12 volt AC outlet charger very convenient and here's a closer look at the uh, glove box compartment pretty decent size And now let's move up. Here's the rear view mirror. On the rear view mirror, we have the uh, universal garage door opener. Simply input your garage door code and you can control it using those three buttons. And here we got the uh, SOS roadside assistant. Simply press that once and you automatically be transferred. And here's the sunroof control. Simply press it once to open it. All right, you also have the tilt function. Let me go ahead and open it fully and show you what it looks like. Alright, let's go ahead and tilt it. There it is. And let me go outside and show you what it looks like from the outside. Here it is. Looks very cool. Let me go ahead and walk around and give you a full view. overall looks pretty nice and cool and still have a luxurious look which I like alright and now let's take a closer look at what's on the driver side door here here we have a little compartment there along with all four automatic power window control and here's the window lock button and on top here we have the uh, side view mirror control simply switch that to the right or left and use that to control and this button right here on the left side of this button control the uh, side view mirror folding press it once to fold it and press it again to unfold it very nice safety feature so your car won't get scratched when you park and down here we have another side door compartment alright and here you have up to two user readjustment for re easy readjustment of the uh, driver's seat Here's the BMW door sill. You can be seeing it on both driver and passenger side. And let's see what we can do on the driver seat here. You can move the seat up. You move backward. You can move up, down, and you can control the uh, back. And also, you have the massage function right there. All right, looks very nice and clean with the leather. All right, and now let's go into the back passenger seat. A very nice feature that I also like: the keyless access entry works on all four doors. All right, here's a closer look of the uh, back seat. And on the door, we have another automatic power window control along with the side door compartment. All right, let's go ahead now and jump into the seat and see how comfortable it is. All right, and I'm in the back seat. Again, I'm five foot seven. This gives you an idea of how much leg space you have there. Quick view of the front from sitting in the back here. Look very nice, very futuristic. All right, and here we have two AC vents for the back, and a little compartment there for you, the passengers, to put things. We also have another 12 volt AC outlet charger. All right. Very nice. Let's see the passenger middle armrest compartment. You can raise this out, and it have two more cup holders there. And raise this up for more storage for passenger. Very convenient. Let's go ahead and put that back up. Alright, and right above our head, we got the uh, light control. And over, both on the right and the left, we got the arm bar with the hanger there for you to hang clothes. 
right in the middle passenger seat you can simply raise the headrest right there by pressing that button and press it again to fold it and now for a closer look at the front on the front we have uh, Xenon adapter headlights with dynamic auto leveling it also has LED Corona headlights rings and cornering lights and as you can right, see in the middle we have the double kidney grill we also have built-in sensors in the front for help with parking assist which beeps automatically if you get too close to hitting something here's a closer view very nice and the side view mirror on the side view mirror we also have LED turn light signals alright very nice and for a closer look at the wheels here on the wheels we have dynamic stability control including brake fade compensation start off assistant with brake drying and brake standby features with dynamic traction control it also have all four wheel ventilated anti-lock disc brakes and here's a closer look at the rear you can see the 535i emblem on the right side there and in the middle the BMW badge the rear view camera is located right under the BMW badge the rear also have built-in sensors to help with uh, parking assist again which automatically beeps when you get close to hitting something and the exhaust pipes look very nice there alright now let's go ahead and open the trunk and see what I have in there simply press this button right there and here's the rear view camera like I showed talked to you about earlier alright and here's the trunk plenty of room alright and up here you have two power buttons which allows you to close the trunk and lock the door from back in the trunk here alright let's see what else we have back here alright we have hooks on the right side and the left side there and the trunk mat right here simply you can raise this up for more storage very nice and if you ever happen to lock yourself in the trunk you can simply pull this down and pull it to release yourself very nice safety feature let's go ahead and uh, close the trunk very quiet and nice alright guys that's all for today thanks everyone for watching and as always if you have any questions comments or requests for core reviews go ahead and leave me a comment below for more future core reviews go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and give our videos a thumbs up and you can uh, check out our Facebook page by clicking the link in the description box below Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.